it's your girl Tara coming to you from the craftsurgeons.com and thanks for joining me for another video tutorial and guess what I'm talking really fast because I'm really excited because these cards are so stinking adorable I am hopping on here to share a video tutorial with you guys on how to create really simple shaker cards but they're also cute and they're great baby cards oh my goodness and we're going to be using the welcome Easter stamp set which has become like one of my faves in the 2020 mini catalog for step it up so i'm just letting you guys know that um but anyways these cards i created um well let me take that back so this card here i created for my facebook live that i did this past sunday so if you're not aware every single sunday at 2 p.m eastern standard time i do what's called stamping sundays with the craft sergeant over on my facebook business page so if you guys are not busy this sunday be sure to swing on by at 2 p.m eastern standard time and you guys will be able to see me live in an action creating and sharing inspiration but this is one of the cards that i created for it and isn't it adorable and like i said it's a shaker card and not only that it's a baby card so I think is adorable and after the fact I decided that I wanted to keep going <laughs> because I was so inspired by that one card that I wanted to try out the other two images in the stamp set which was the bunny and the cute little lamb now I've been having a lot of fun with the stamp set I have probably created probably like five to six projects already using this set so that's how I could tell that this has become my favorite um but these were the ones that I created after the fact and I'm going to share with you guys how or what supplies I used on these but I'm going to show you how to create this particular one here the cute little chick so stick around because I'm going to share with you guys step-by-step -step instructions on how to create it and I'm going to tell you the supplies okay so let's get stamping all right so the first thing i'm using on this card is the welcome easter stamp set and here it is isn't it stinking adorable oh my goodness so this stamp set is called welcome easter and of course there are some easter themed sentiments in here however i feel like this is a great set to have because it's so versatile because it's not just focusing on easter it also focuses on babies and friendships so I think this sentiment for sweet friend is cute. I think if you have a friend who loves chicks, lambs, and bunnies, this is a great set to have. And this is also a great set to have if you're, you know, someone expecting a little one. Because hence the welcome to the world little one sentiment. Um, another thing that I have seen quite a few projects on is not just cards. You can do so many things with this. You can create like little favors and treat holders and it's just the possibilities are endless with the set and i think it's a really great set to have so to find this it is available in our 2020 mini catalog on page 45 i will have a link to the catalogs the digital versions of the catalogs down below um but here is where you can find it on page 45 it's only 20 bucks so that's a pretty pretty good um price point for this adorable set and what sold me on it was this stinking cute card here look how they're peeking through this was also inspiration for my shaker card because i love the windows um but that's where you can find it okay all right so that's the stamp set that we're going to be using for cardstock and paper i'm going to be using a piece of crushed curry this is a standard a2 size card I'm using a piece of um, Birthday Bonanza designer series paper, and that's what it looks like on the back side. But I thought this would be fitting with the color scheme that I was going for with this card. And then I have a piece of Whisper White. This is thick, okay? So just that's if if you need a tip, I always like to use thick Whisper White for my shaker cards because it's a lot more sturdier than the, the regular whisper white okay so this is a piece of thick whisper white and then i have a piece of acetate for my window now if you need measurements um for this in a written out supply list with step-by-step -step instructions i will have this available on my website for purchase as well so you can that'll be linked down below in the description box you can head over there and um download a copy of that okay so that is the paper that i use for this particular card 
For inks, since we are going to be doing some stamp and blend coloring, I'm using Tuxedo Black in Memento ink. Okay, so y'all know I'm I love coloring, so this is what I'm using. And speaking of coloring, we are going to be pulling in our blends. Okay, so ooh, those are kind of out of order, but I am using Granny Apple Green. This is the combo pack. I'm using Daffodil Delight. That's the combo, the dark and the light. I'm using Pumpkin Pie and Basic Black for this particular card. You can also use the color lifter, but because I was able to um, get the effect that I wanted, you, I didn't need it, but that is also an option as well. That's what this, it looks just like this. It lifts some of that color out so you can have, um, lighten up the areas that you want to have be lightened. And then I have my Wing of Stella because I don't know if you guys saw it, but there is some shimmer going on. Y'all know I love shimmer. Even on the bunny. Y'all see his his body? It shimmers. And the lamb too. They're all shimmery. Oh my goodness. So, so adorable. All right. So those are the inks that I'm using for embellishments and for the shaker pieces on the inside. I'm using my iridescent sequin assortment. To create my window, I am using a two and a quarter inch circle punch because I found that was easier to line up. And, oh, and you can't forget your handy dandy foam adhesive strips, okay? Because this is what makes the shaker card a shaker card. And we actually have these in my online store available for purchase as well. All right, so now that you guys know basically all of the supplies that you're going to need on top of like the adhesives and stuff that you're going to use, um, let's go ahead and get into the mechanics of how to create this really, really adorable shaker card. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our card base and we are going to fold it and we're going to burnish on that score line, which means we're gonna um, apply a little bit of pressure to make our card sit flat, which is gonna be awesome. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create our window, okay? So what I like to do is take my two and a quarter inch circle punch and I'm just going to insert my thick whisper white window, or excuse me, cardstock, so I can create this window. And I'm just gonna kind of eyeball, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm gonna kind of eyeball the edges to make sure I try to get it as even as possible, right? And then I'm gonna punch out a circle. And so that is now my frame, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch out another two and a quarter inch circle out of my designer series paper. And we're gonna sit that to the side. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of my liquid glue and we're going to, let's see which side I like. I like this side better. We're going to line our frame up where we want it right and then i'm going to take my glue and i'm going to just apply some in the center of the circle being careful not to get it on the edge of the frame and then i'm going to take my piece of designer series paper and i'm going to stick it right into the center there now one thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you get some of that adhesive close to the outside edge of that circle because what tends to happen is your shaker bits might get stuck underneath it. So you wanna make sure that you have the edge of that circle down, glued down pretty good. All right, so now we're gonna remove our frame and there you go. So now when you go to line your frame back up on top of your card, it should line up perfectly to where you want your, um, your layer to be. So that is kind of like a little cool tip. So now I'm going to apply my frame, or excuse me, my window, by applying a little bit of this glue around the circle. And I'm gonna take my little piece of acetate. And I'm gonna stick it right over my window that I created with my two and a quarter inch circle punch. And we're gonna sit that to the side to dry a little bit, okay? And while that's drying, I am going to stamp my image and we're going to color it. So we're doing the little, the little, uh, 
chickadee so i'm going to ink him up and we're going to stamp him down just like this so stinking cute all right so there's that and now we're going to take our blends and we're going to start off with our pumpkin pie so if you've been watching me for a while you guys probably already know how i color the technique that i use but i always start with the dark color first and a color where i want the shadows i create my shadows and then i also use the lines that the stamp has too for the shadows and then i go back in with my lights in the open area just like that and then where the dark and the light meet i go back over it one more time with my light so that way i blend out that color okay so there you go and if you don't get the effect that you want sometimes i always go back over it with my dark again just to get it where i want it to and I just do the same concept. So y'all see how I'm getting that, the light and the dark? It gives my image character, I love it. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with my Wink of Stella. And of course, we gotta make this little guy shiny because every card is better with the shimmer. Well, that's what I believe. There we go. All right, so we're gonna set that to the side. Now, this is the most dreaded part that a lot of people don't like, but Tara does not mind. <laughs> And that's fuzzy cutting. So I'm going to cut this little guy out with my paper snips. This image is pretty darn easy to fuzzy cut. So you don't have to worry about all that. All right. So now that we have fuzzy cut him out, we are going to go ahead and check our little image here. Or not our image, but we're going to check our window. So it looks pretty... uh pretty dry so what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip this little guy over and now we're going to stamp um our sentiment the grass and our little bumblebee here in memento ink so we're gonna use our little chickadee as a guide for this so i'm gonna start off with the grass so i'm going to sit him kind of like halfway on the window and halfway on the whisper white and i'm going to just use them as a guide now one thing to note this stamp has a lot of rubber around it and i don't do stamp surgery on my stamps so just be mindful as you're stamping the grass down because you could potentially when you ink it up get a little bit of that ink on your um stamp and it'll transfer to your project and to avoid that I just kind of use a lighter hand when I'm stamping with it. But I do a couple of practice rounds before I completely commit to stamping it. And so we're going to stamp this little guy twice on our cardstock just like that. Okay. And then we're going to stamp our little B. And I have him upside down. Same thing for this little guy. Just use a little light hand. I guess I can put the little chick down now. And then we're going to take our sentiments. Welcome to the world, little one. And we're gonna stamp that right down at the bottom of our piece of cardstock. Now, it's time for us to color the rest of the image. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and assemble our card. So I'm gonna pull in my card base here and I'm going to flip over my, um, my frame. And what I like to do is take my embossing buddy and run it just lightly over the window 
So that way my sequins don't catch static and stick to the acetate. I've noticed in the past when I've done shaker cards, sometimes they get stuck because of static electricity and they get, you know, they cling to the window versus shake around. So I don't want that. So I use my embossing buddy, the powder in it prevents that, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're gonna take our card base and our frame and we're going to create our shaker. So what I'm going to do is, where are my paper snips? I'm going to take a strip of my, uh-oh, it's coming off of the thing. Well, that's fine. I'm going to take a strip of this foam adhesive. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a barrier around my frame. Hopefully you guys can see this. Let me move that out of the way. And then another thing I like to do is I like to put some additional foam strips down at the bottom. And around so that way it's all even when it sticks off the card. Now I did try dimensionals with this and it didn't work very well <laughs> on this part. So you want to use the same height because they're not the same height. All right, so there we go. If you want to put more around the edge, you can, but I don't really focus on that. All right, so now that we have this piece done, it's time for us to apply our little sequence. Now, one thing I like to do is I like to take my little um, my little pen, or you can do like glue dots. I changed my mind. I'll take about three or four or five dots of this glue with my glue pen and just randomly um, put a few dots around that circle because what I'm going to do is I'm going to adhere some of my sequins to it so that way when you shake them around i don't know if you guys noticed but when you hold the card up the all of the shaker pieces go down to the bottom and sometimes i don't like that so i want it to still have some shaker bits just stuck in place okay and so i'm just going to add just a few just randomly random colors All right, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take two to three pinches and we're gonna just place these little guys right in the center of our circle. All right, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the backing. Once again, we're going to make sure our foam strips are down and adhered so they're not coming up. This one's coming up hot huh, because I forgot to take off the backing of oh, that one. All right, so we want to make sure that they're stuck down pretty good and they're not going to come up and then we're going to remove the backings off of them. All right, then we're going to flip this little guy around and we're going to line it up with our window just like this. And like I said, it really helps to have that circle in place to help guide you. And then we're gonna go around where our foam strips are and we're gonna press down just to make sure that it's adhered really, really well, okay? And so there, you have your sugar pieces. And see, so you notice if it sticks down, if it sits up, then a lot of the shaker pieces don't fall down because of the ones that I glued in place. How awesome is that? So now what's left to do is to add our little chickadee. So we're going to add this little guy down here just like this. With his head peeking over the window. And we are going to take our glue once again, our fine tip glue pen, and we're going to apply 
some little cute sequins around our card. So about three. And there you go. Your cute little shaker card. Isn't it adorable? So cute. All right, guys. So let's take a final look at these cards. Oh my gosh, they're so stinking adorable. Oh, so today's video, I showed you guys how to create a really cute and adorable shaker card for a little baby. Welcome to the world, little one. Using the little chickadee from the Welcome Easter stamp set, which is a great Easter set, friendship set, baby set, <laughs> baby favorite set. Um, it's a great, um, great stamp set overall and one of my favorites in the 2020 holiday catalog. Now, the concept is still the same uh, for the other two cards as well. The only thing that differs is that I use the other two images in the stamp set, the little lamb and the bunny, and the colors, okay? So for this particular card, if you're curious, I use a piece of Highland Heather and then a piece of Purple Posy Designer Series paper. This paper comes from the, wait for it, it's a, it's a mouthful. It's the 2019 to 2020 no, sorry, 2019 to 2021 in color six by six designer series paper pack. Oh, that was a lot. Okay, so that was that color combo with the little lamb card. And then for the bunny card, I use a piece of pool party. And this piece of designer series paper comes from the Tropical Oasis uh, paper pack. It's 12 by 12 and is gorgeous as well. So there's some beautiful papers in that paper pack. And that's where I got that. Um, that combination from for the bunny card okay now if you guys like today's projects i would really love to hear what you think about them in the comments down below so let me know which one's your favorite um how you guys are feeling do you guys like this tutorial <laughs> Just let me know in the comments. And also, I do want to let you guys know that I do have a handwritten tutorial with measurements and a supply list and more details on these projects um, available for purchase on my website, okay? So that will be linked down below in the description box, okay? So if you guys want to print out a copy, um, you can do that as well. If you like my videos and want to continue to see more like this along with more project inspiration and tutorials be sure to hit the notification bell and to subscribe to my channel i'm always looking for subscribers and um you guys are amazing i love bringing inspiration to you guys every single um week and if you guys want updates on any of my upcoming events classes want to receive project inspiration be sure to sign up for my newsletter which i'll also have linked down below um but other than that guys that's all i got for now so see you guys next time oh, they're so cute thanks for watching and happy stamping